Hey, Mark Rice here. If you want to learn how to create this amazing animation, you can do that right now. I am happy that I can show you how to create it easily, and you can use it for every segment of the graphic design. So, enjoy! Okay, so this will be a great tutorial. But before we start, we need to import the file. So, go here into the project, click with the right mouse button, then import, and pick up the file. When you locate your file, just select it and click this import button here. Here choose composition and layer size and click OK. Now as you can see, I got the composition into the project, so double click on it. And voila! Now I got all my layers from the Illustrator and as you can see, it's really complicated for now, but we will make it simpler. So basically I created these characters with one line. Then I separated this line into three parts. One part of the animation per character. And that's it. And the duration of the animation will be 4 seconds per part. It means 12 seconds for the whole animation. So I will move the timeline here. And zoom it a bit. So as I said before, the duration of the one part will be 4 seconds. And I will cut here this part that I don't need. Just hold shift and control button and hit the D keyboard button. Now delete it. Okay, beautiful. So this is the first character. This is the second character and this is the third character. The animation will start here. And the end of the animation will be here. And in the same point will be start the next animation. So, let me show you, here, Whoop. and here will be the end of the second animation and the beginning of the third part of the animation. And basically that's it. Okay, cool, before I start with the motion, I need to make two steps. First, I need to convert these layers into shapes. And after that, I will use different colors for different layers. Okay, so first step one, select all the layers. Then click with the right mouse button, go into create, and here select create shapes from vector layers. Okay, cool. Delete the old ones. Okay, I don't need this layer. And now I need to change the colors of the layers. So this is the B line. And here I have the BI1 layer, the BI2, and the B mouse. So select these layers and change the color. It can be red, for example. I will do the same with the M line. It can be yellow. And here I can leave the blue color. Now I will move these layers here. I will do the same with these layers. And now I'm ready for the animation. So first select the B line outline. Go inside. And here select trim path. Okay, beautiful. Go inside. And on the first frame, create the keyframes for the start and for the end. And it will be zero here and zero here. Okay, beautiful. At the end of this part of the animation, it will be 100 here and 100 here. Okay. Then select the first keyframes for the start. Click with the right mouse button. Go into keyframe assistant and select easy is out. It means that animation will start slow and then speed up. And here for the end, I will go with easy in. Okay. Okay, and now we can improve it. So select the keyframes for the start and go here into graph editor. Select this point here and move it to the middle of the animation. Okay. And I will do that for these keyframes as well.
Okay, now let me check. Okay, so what this means? The first point of the line will start fast and slow down at the end of the animation. And the last point of the animation will start slow and at the end will be fast. Okay, beautiful. So now select the M line outline and repeat the process. Here will be easier if we just copy the keyframes. To select all the keyframes and copy it with Ctrl plus C, then go to the beginning of the second part of the animation, click Start and paste it with Ctrl plus V. Okay, and I will do that the same here. I will change the size of the composition because the render will be faster. Okay, let me check the animation. Okay, cool. Now I will animate the eyes and the mouth. So for the mouth, I will use trim path as well. Go here. And I will use the same keyframes. Okay. But the first keyframe of the start move in the middle of the animation and the last keyframe of the end move in the middle of the animation as well. So now we have something like this. Okay. And for the eyes, I will play with the size. So hit S on the keyboard, create scale. It will be zero on the first frame, then skip one second and back to 100. Okay, cool. Then go on the third second and just copy the keyframes. And the end of this part of the animation will be zero again. Let me check. Okay, beautiful. And now I will repeat the process for the second two characters. Okay, beautiful, now we can check the animation. And then we can make one more small improvement. So go here. So zoom it a bit and here we can overlap the layers and for that we need just three frames or something like that. One, two, okay, one, two, three, it's enough. Then select these layers and move it here and I will do the same here. As you can see, I got this empty space here, and it's okay. Here I will copy the first layer and create a loop with that. So select these layers here, duplicate it with Ctrl plus D, move it here, then here. Okay, skip three frames as well. One, two, three. And move it here. And basically that's it. Let me check. Okay, so this can be a final animation. Or you can add more lines into animation 
and more different little things and get something like this. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope that you like it and soon I will upload more animation tutorials. So be sure to stay tuned. And if you want to support my work and use all my illustrations for your projects, be sure to check out gigantic.store or check out the link down below. Okay, so that's it for today and stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Peace.